Did I even attempt to make this look look different? No, it's blue fucking eyeshadow. Everyone's gonna know it's the same thing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Bianca here. Yes, I am arranging my brushes while I'm doing my intro, but hey, if it wasn't a mess, would it be me? The answer is no. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be doing a September favorites. I'm a little bit late. I'm pretty sure once I post this, it'll be October already, but these are the things that I was using and loving. It's uh, not a very long list. This is all things that I was using during September. During September, I was in a quarantine, a two week quarantine. So it gave me a lot of time to test out some products and just see what I reached for during those two weeks where I was in lockdown. Cause I did a, I did a lot of makeup during those two weeks and I kind of saw what I was using the most and saw what really made a difference. So without further ado, I have my products here. Which I just set down. I have my little trusty notebook. Yes, it's different from the last one. That's because when I was thinking of this, I was at work and this is all I had. So I have my little notebook with my notes in it. Let's get started. All right, so the first product that I want to talk about is the, if I keep looking down, it's because my notebook is right here. Maybe I should pop it up. We're not doing that. Who am I kidding? Anyways, so if I'm looking down, it's because of this. So this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Coverage Concealer. So this is in the shade, I have the shade Fair and Light Medium. Um, I probably could have gone with shade Light. So I bought Light Medium first. No, no, I take that back. So actually I bought Fair first and it is much too light for my skin tone. I am pretty light, but I am not this light. So this is a very, you can see on my hand there it is much lighter than the rest of me it's also very cool tone i'm more of a neutral and then this so i ended up purchasing a second shade light medium and this one as you can see is much too dark for me you can see right there kind of yeah there you go so you can see those are the two shades that i have right there combined however they work excellently um, these are $9.99 each from Ulta. There is a shade that I could probably find that matches me perfectly, but for now I'm using these two and I absolutely love this. Like, I have absolutely no complaints. It's dewy. It's a very dewy concealer. I would not say it's full coverage. I would say high medium. I can definitely see a little bit of darkness peeking through on my inner corners and it lasts about four hours. I'm not the kind of person who really wears makeup to last, like I don't mind if it slowly fades off of my face, so that's great for me. If you're looking for something like that, this is really great. Um, Flower Beauty, you can get it at Ulta. Okay, this next product is by Bite Beauty. It is the Agave Daytime Vegan Lip, Mat, uh, Lip Balm. I had to look that up. Anyways, so I am pretty much almost done with this. I actually just did an empties video not too long ago and you will have seen a completely empty one of this. It's a great product. This is the one that I keep in my purse currently. I have like three different lip products on me as far as hydration for, that I use at different times a day. This is the one that I use while I'm at work if my lips just feel dry or chapped for whatever reason. I throw this on and it's great. It's very, it's very thick so it really coats your lips and it stays there for a really long time. It lasts a really long time, even with putting on the mask. Um, the only downside is that it's very, very emollient. So it kind of moves around in the tube. You can see there kind of where it edges, it sitting against the edge. And that's all because when you put it on your mouth and you move it, it kind of moves in the tube. You can see how it is just completely disfigured. But other than that, small price to pay for a very, very good hydrating lip balm. That one is $14 and you can actually get it in Sephora. So, good deal. A bit expensive for a lip balm, but highly recommend it. All right. So the next favorite of the month is this absolutely ridiculous expensive Natasha Tenona Biba palette. So this is their Biba all neutral eyeshadow palette. 
So it's an entire palette, as I said, of neutrals. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. So it has fifteen shades. <laughs> I don't know why I just counted it like that. But it has 15 shades. It has a mixture of cool, warm, completely neutral tones. You see your little cool tones right here, more warms, pinks. It has shimmers, mattes, sort of satin mattes in between. This is one of the few palettes where I can actually say I have dipped my brush into every single one of these shades and used every single one and loved it. While I was in quarantine, when I decided that I was going to start doing makeup videos again and actually like attempting to use up all of my makeup products this was the palette that i kept reaching for again and again and again and again there's something about this color story that just really speaks to me it's one of those palettes where i can pick it up and i'm easily inspired like i look at this and i can think of three or four different looks that i want to make right now it also, it's, it's just a lovely form, formula. It's not powdery. It's a little bit more stiff, which is something that I really like. There's absolutely no fallout. It's a very beginner friendly palette. Like it, the color story is kind of broken up for you, you know, like these four shades can make a look right here. These three shades can make a look right here. Here's another four right there that can make a look. It's just, it's one of, it's, if I had to pick one palette and get rid of all my other palettes, this is the one I choose. The only downside is that it is $129. Yes, I paid full price for it. If you don't know the story already, I have mentioned it, I think twice already. I was drunk when I bought this. Drunk me was like, fuck it up, get that money or spend that money, I suppose. Either way, I don't regret having it. I reach for it all the time. If you can afford it, great power love this thing all right so this is my last favorite of the month i could probably pick more things honestly i i only have four on my list but these are really the things that i have been using for the last month and it's just the, what stuck out to me i was using a lot of different things so this is what stuck out to me just these four products so the last one i have right here is by the ordinary it's a toner it's their glycolic acid 7% toning solution. So I believe it's a AHA, BHA, I'm not positive though, but it does give that sort of stingy thing, you know, when you swipe it over your face and you put it on, it does kind of sting a bit, much like an AHA, BHA does, but it's just fabulous. Like, this is something I personally use it in the morning and at night. It does say use ideally in... So this is don't use it more frequently than once per day. I use it twice a day. I just realized that. Oops. Hmm. Maybe I should change that. Anywho, I've been using it twice a day. I'm almost done with this. You can see that right there. I already have a second bottle, a full bottle ready for backup. I use this as a toner. I put it on a cotton pad and I swipe that on. This is something where if I stop using it, I notice a difference immediately when I start again. Like my skin will be acting up and I'll go back to this and I'll be like, oh, that's why I use it all the time. Like it helps with texture, it helps with breakouts. Like my skin is noticeably smoother and happier when I use this. It's um, $8.70, so really, really, really affordable. You can get it on Sephora. I don't believe that they sell it in stores right now. Um, there's not a lot of stores that sell the ordinary products, like Sephora outlets anyways. I know for sure you can get it online, though. That's where I order it. Hmm. Well, that's all I have according to my lovely, lovely notes. I guess right in the video. Is that really it? After I edit this, this video is gonna be like 10 minutes long. What am I gonna do with myself, guys? I'm getting better at this. That's a fucking lie. The fucking review that I did on the Inner Transparent is gonna take me fucking forever. I'm gonna hate myself at the end of that. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up today's video. Those are my September favorites. Um, I will do my best to see about posting this every month. This is kind of fun seeing what products I like the most. 
all right well thank you so much for joining me today once again i am bianca if you guys want to follow me it is bianca kahavai on every social media platform that you can possibly think of spelled exactly as my username below please like and subscribe comment if you feel the need to and i'll see you guys next week thank you so much for watching and enjoy the bloopers that i am sure are there love you guys bye oh, why didn't i put earrings in oh. Don't judge me, I know it's Jeffree Star. I bought it before he was canceled again. I will not be repurchasing it, okay? I don't know why I'm setting my face. It's not like I'm going anywhere. I'm literally taking this makeup off once I'm done filming. Dude, my face. Shiny. My hair does not cooperate. Dude, it's a level at which I have to like redo these roots is ridiculous. Also, why is it every time I decide to film, it's literally on like day two or three hair or right after I come from work, so my hair looks a mess. Anyways, I really should stop using it day and night. Hmm. After cleaning, you just blah, 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 do not use this. The things you learn. I have never read the back of this. I. That's good to know.